Hello everyone, I'm Holy Out of Order, and this is EU4, and Cradle of Civilization has just been released. And I already have an idea of who I want to play as. It is none other than the mighty, formerly mighty, Timurid Empire. And I want to go to options first. Uh, normal difficulty, I'm actually going to turn on Lucky Nations even though I hate it. Um, because I'd like to play on Iron Man this time. Uh, everything else, I think, is good. Timurids, yes. Why the hell not? And, I'm going to call this Sons of Tamerlane. Because we are the descendants of Timurlank, a.k.a. Tamerlane. And let's start. I've heard that the Timurids have been debuffed even more than uh, they were in the past. In essence. Because now they all of the land they used to have is now under vassals. Uh, Shah Rukh is the supreme ruler of the Timurid Emperor and Empire and the son of the great conqueror Timur. Much has changed since the death of the great Emir, however, and his empire that once stretched from Anatolia to Delhi. Shah Rukh has been able to keep most of Timur's empire together and patronized a thriving center of learning and arts in Herat, the Pearl of Khorasan. But his reign is near its end, and the aging ruler has fallen ill during the past year. In the outer provinces, sons and grandsons are observing the court in Herat with great interest. Ajam, under Muhammad, uh, Muhammad bin Besankor, is already independent in all but name. In Astarabad, Khorasan, his brother, Babur, uh, Babur, has built a small power base for himself, no doubt with the only goal to have a base in the coming succession struggles. Transoxiana and Timur's own old capital, Samarkand, has been left in the able hands of Ulug Bey, son of our ruler and a great patron of the sciences and arts, while Fars is in the hands of a 12-year-old prince of the dynasty. Meanwhile, the Karakoyunlu Federation has taken over many of the western parts of Timur's original empire, and in southern Iraq, the millenarian Mushasha have conquered Khuzestan and ousted the Timurid administrators from that region. The Uzbeks are, are continually raiding our holdings in Transoxiana, and our Indian governors have been ousted from Delhi. As 1444 draws to an end, the fate of the empire seems uncertain. Should Shah Rukh recover, he may well rule for a number of years yet, but the tension is tangible. Every son and grandson has been waiting for for the moment of the Emperor's death uh, their entire lives. Uh, we are Sunni. We are an Uzbek Empire. Apparently we are an emperor, Empire. Um, Apparently we have the Ikta government. I thought we would be a horde, but no, we have legitimacy. So we, I guess we are Ikta. Um, that's something that I guess has changed. And, all right, that's nothing worth reading. And now I want to read through my, um, or not read through, like just look at my situation. Um, our current ruler is Shah, a great sultan, Shah Rukh Timurid. He's pretty good. He's four, a 435 with scholar, uh, architectural visionary, and benevolent. Um, and we have, I don't know if this is our son or what, Shahzad al al -Dal Abdallah Timurid. Okay, so uh, and he's a three three two with uh, intricate web weaver. We are an empire, and Ikta. All right, empire of Shahrukh. 
Liberty Desi Desiring Subjects, minus 50%. I kind of want to cut over to the subject screen. We can choose a rival. The Mamluks have rivaled us. What's this? We apparently follow the Hanafi school. Has the following relations with other schools. Hates Ismaili, Jaf uh, Jafari, Zaidi. Uh, ambivalent towards Hanbali, Maliki, and Shafi. And I could make the uh, Mamluks... Uh, arrival of mine. Don't want to take a mission yet. You can enact a taxation policy, apparently. We have a bunch, well, not a bunch of rebel, uh, rebels, but uh, enough to be. Uh, a moderate concern, I think. We have crap religious unity. And we even have a Zoroastrian province. Most are uh, a lot of our land is Shia, apparently. But we are again Sunni. What was that over there? Oh, it actually shows the uh su uh, the uh schools. And I have no idea what that is. Okay, this is professionalism. How dependent your country is on mercenary or professional armies. It increases by drilling or units or recruiting generals, but decreases if you recruit mercenaries. Alright, so... It increases throughout the game, apparently. All right. Um, our leader is actually also a military leader. Probably not a good thing for his health. And then we have our five subjects, all of whom are all of whom have high liberty desire, except for Coruscant. Um, our Timur traditions give us plus one diplomatic relation and negative five uh, years of separatism. We'll eventually get plus one prestige, cavalry combat ability, some shock damage, yearly leg legitimacy, tech cost, uh, domestic trade power, and yearly corruption, or we can form the Mughal Empire and uh, we will apparently lose cores on a bunch of stuff. I'm guessing the stuff that goes away goes to a newly formed Persia or something. But, um... Transoxiana is definitely the strongest of our current vassals. They have plus 31.7 uh, liberty desire from 127 development. Um, it looks like all of our vassals trust us, though their opinions could use some work. And... The Empire of Shah Rukh is what's holding our empire together right now. So... I wonder what would happen if I released... like Because the biggest contributor to the, their liberty desire right now is the relative power of all, their vassal, of all of my vassals to me. Which is plus 122. Um, so I'm curious what would happen if I deleted one of them, or not deleted, but just, uh, gave one to, or, uh, gave one its independence, like Transoxiana, for example. A gathering storm, the aging ruler of the Timurid Empire, Shah Rukh, has been ill since the beginning of 1444. In his absence, his, uh, in his absence, his wife... Uh, Gohar Shah has taken over the daily rule of the Empire, but 
this sign of weakness has set wheels in motion among the princes that rule the timbered provinces. In western Iran, the young prince uh, Muhammad Besankor, an ambitious grandson, has started to accept taxes and tokens of loyalty from a much larger region than his assigned government. Having finally recovered and learned of his insolence, Shah Rukh has now declared Muhammad uh, Besankor a rebel and is moving to strike at him at first opportunity. If a civil war among all sons and grandsons, like that of uh, like that at the end of Timur's life is to be avoided. Shah Rukh knows he must strike down any sign of rebellion harshly and quickly. Only time will tell what the other princes will do. As long as I live the uh, as the ruler of the Timurids, I will greatly reduce the liberty desire of remaining vassal countries ruled by my sons or grandsons. Okay. So. This is apparently not my son. And now I can rival Ajam as well. What kind of... Uh, let's go ahead and rival both of them. I guess. Um... What kind of advisors can I get? I can get a theologian. Let's do that. I could get a plus two diplo rep guy. That would be useful, but I think that would be hamstring my finances right now. I can promote advisors. It's a cool new decision. And um, I think the best way to deal with uh, the religious uh, unity problem that we'll, we're going to have probably throughout the game um, is by taking humanism as our first idea group. So I think I'm going to set... Uh, admin focus. Maybe I should... I should not have hired that guy, probably. Let's up our root out corruption just so that it doesn't go up. I'm going to mothball the forts for now. Our advisors have cultures and religions. Okay, um, so raises the next question, what do I want, how do I want to handle my subjects? I think I am going to arrange a marriage with Coruscant. I don't know what that noise was. Um... Let's arrange that marriage. I think it was I think the noise was just somebody dropping something. We'll arrange that marriage and I think also I think Transoxiana is kind of a feudal uh, a feudal case in this in this game because I think the best thing to do is probably release them but I want to hold off on that until the uh, until my ruler dies because then... I want to see what happens, and uh, if I need to, I'll release Transoxiana so that they don't uh, do something crazy. It's extreme, but uh, something that I'm okay with doing. There's something else I was going to do. I want to write or uh, embargo. 
Ajam and the Mamlux. And what's my force limit? 18 out of 24. Um, should probably build up to my force limit. But not yet. I want to do something else right now. Um, I want first, I want to. Open up all of these just so I don't have to later. And we are already a great power. We're actually a uh, the sixth rank great power, and we've adopted feudalism already. I think that's something new, right? Yeah. Uh, Timurids are feudal and have Icta, so that makes sense, but, uh, it's, I always have this image in my head of the Timurids being a horde. So, what I was going to do is fire this guy, maybe? In place of the Diplo Rep guy. Now my my vassal uh, opinion vassal's opinions are going to be uh, crap anyway. So let's improve the relations of everyone who of all of my vassals who Sistan is one of mine, right? Yes, and they've already allied with. All of the others so okay they're not completely crazy yet <clears throat> um I want to improve the relations with Sistan and Fars and Afghanistan wait why is why is their opinion so high All right. And apparently Delhi has collapsed. I can reclaim Esfahan. Where is Esfahan? Or Isfahan or however it's in Ajam. It is a core of ours. I'm not sure that uh, if I if I click this, I lose all like all of my cores in in the region of Persia or something. I'm not sure what happens with that. We'll deal with that when the time comes, but. Uh, we now no longer, we, uh, the piety system is now based on mysticism and legalism. Uh, legalism increases national tax modifier, manpower modifier, and tech, uh, decreases tech costs. While mysticism increases missionary strength, morale of armies, and fort defense. I think uh, reclaim uh, Isfahan is probably the way to go on this. I don't see us incorporating right now. Do I want to move towards legalism right now? I can denounce sect practices, which will decrease national, national unrest. 
Sure, that's good. And I wouldn't mind having the prestige either. We can reform Great Yuan if we want to do, but we'd have to become we'd have to become the Emperor of China, and for that we'd need to be not uh, Sunni, or, uh, not Muslim. Actually, we'd have to convert to either an Eastern religion or a pagan religion. <clears throat> Enact a taxation policy. Um. During this period, you can... Okay, for 20 years, you will get National Tax Modifier plus 15%. During this period, you cannot enact another ICTA taxation policy. Uh, I can get Corporation Cost or Lenient Taxation. Diplo Rep and Diplomatic... or And Liberty Desire and Subjects. Hmm. Uh, does that give me anything else? Probably the best way to go. Now we only have tra uh, Transoxiana to worry about. Okay. Mm, Coruscant wants to become a march. No. There was something else I, was, I forgot to do. Um... We have Shia Zealots, apparently. Oh, in one, our vassal does, actually. Um, I want to check my merchants. I know that. In Hormuz, we're collecting. Where's our primary port, or our primary no uh, node? Herat, which is in the Persia node, okay. Um, oh yeah, we can exploit de development now. That's fun. Don't want to do it right now, but maybe eventually. Probably not a good idea in general, though. Um, Let's tra just transfer from Hormuz. And I want to build troops. What kind of... Do we have access to any other uh, units? I think I want morale right now. Do we have... Desert. Probably better to go high shock on. Oh no, we're not a horde. What am I thinking? Do we still get... I don't think we would get the bonus to fighting on flat terrain. Alright. And I keep forgetting to... So, wait, hold on. So I want to go with the Muslim Cavalry Archers, I think, which we already have. And what is our... 60% is our insufficient support limit for Cav. I'll build one more, I think. And then foot soldiers everywhere else up up to force limit. And then we'll wait for all of those to be built and then I'll decrease maintenance on those. Increase the speed a little bit. Transoxiana almost doesn't hate me right now.
these guys still allied with each other? They are. Fifty-two percent uh, is all. Uh, Fifty-two percent is all um, the Liberty Desire Transoxiana has of us now. Something else, and I don't want to forget about this because oh, we have to have a merchant in. Okay. Um. Out of curiosity, let's try to put a merchant here. We'll move the guy from Hormuz here, I think, and tr tell him to maximize profits, I think. I wonder, we are making 2.53 from trade, now it's 2.69, alright, and the trade is still flowing, oh wait, okay, Hormuz doesn't actually flow towards us, Far, uh, Basra flows towards uh, Persia, so that's still probably the right move, but uh, I know not much has happened in this episode, but hopefully more will happen as time moves on. My cab is done here, so I'm going to go ahead and lower maintenance. And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will be putting out probably several videos for... Uh, both CK2 and EU4 for uh, Jade Dragon and Cradle of Civilization uh, respectively.